typical New York rainy day today. So I'm in my basement today and uh, it's nice and dry, comfortable. Got the uh, comfort control going. Basically, long story short, I'm going to do some door card conversions. I'm going to show you guys how to do some, uh, some basically some fabric overlays and whatnot and some removals and do a uh, reupholstery on these doors. That way they give them a nice freshen up and they're going to match this customer's seats. So a lot of guys go out, they buy the STI seats and uh, they want a lot of money for those door cards. Well, it's a lot easier just to go out, buy that STI fabric and make them STI door cards. It's real simple. They glue the fabric onto the door card. It literally is the same door card as the WRX is the STI. It's the same thing, the fabric is different. That's all. So if you guys are looking for uh, something a little custom, something different, stay tuned. I'll show you guys how to do this, or at least how I do it. And uh, you guys can take it from there. Do your own methods, you know, and you know, whatever suits your insanity. So other than that, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Bye. First step. Get yourself a nice little workstation. Uh, you want to make the area as comfortable as possible and have it as well lit as possible. These are generally the tools that I use. Uh, this is a razor blade. These are drill bits, standard drill. Um, I use a spot weld drill bit. Um, you'll see why here in a minute. And uh, this is a standard scraper. It's got the hammer edge on the side. These are pretty nice for uh, taking the back sides of the plastic rivets on that are uh, melted on. And then standard hammer, obviously for hitting it. Um, a lot of guys use 3M. I personally like Loctite. Uh, 3M is a little, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Other than that, this is what I use. You know, this is what I feel that uh, it works good for me. And I don't have to worry about like any soaking issues because of the methods that I use. So flip the door over and right here are going to be your three Phillips head screws. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, now that those are removed, we're going to move on to the plastic rivets. What these were, were plastic studs that stuck through this hole, or excuse me, through the holes of this plastic part here. Now this plastic part is actually what, as you can see, this is what the uh, the vinyl fabric here is on, and then it goes straight into, you know, the uh, the softer fabric as well. So that's actually the fabric we're going to change, and we're going to make that the Alcantara STI fabric. And uh, yeah, other than that, we're going to go ahead and pop these off. What I normally do is you can either take your scraper, you can pop all the heads off with a hammer, that's one method. You can take a spot weld drill bit, you can, whoops, excuse me, they get drilled just, they've got a, a little point that's actually right in the center, and that sits right directly in the center, real, real nice. Literally just drill it until the, the head of the plastic pops off, and that will separate it, that's another good way. Another way to do it too is also with the razor blade. And literally just push it and work it around. You know, same thing with a hand, you know, razor blade. That'll cut the tabs off also as well. You know, and then uh, also if you don't have the spot well drill bit, you can use just normal, you know, drill bits also as well. You know, just take your time and drill just the head right off. You want to leave as much plastic underneath this as possible so that we have something to tap into and, uh, how, I'll show you how I fasten them back on. What I normally do is use a washer and I go through it with a little tiny rivet. I use my rivet guns and I rivet it through with an eighth inch tap and I go with eight inch real, uh, excuse me, rivets right into the eighth inch hole after I drill the hole after. Real simple, real standard. Expand the rivet and I'm able to put this back on. It's actually a lot stronger than the plastic. Yeah. That's just a real simple explanation. I'm gonna go ahead and rock and roll and get this done. Give you an idea of what it looks like. This is after you drill it out and you can expose the plastic stud that comes through the hole. And then this is after I take the razor blade and run it flush across and clean up all this plastic that's left over. 
it's basically just melted over onto the edge and pancake down and that's the rivet portion so you just want to remove that so when you do a washer and you drill an eighth inch hole through this you're able to mate down nice and flat and the washer and the rivet will come down and mate down perfectly so that's basically the goal um, drill them out and then you really want to make them nice and flush real nice and clean with the razor blade real simplistic they start from this they go to this and then they end up like this but I might as well give you guys a little fun fact real quick um, on the back of your door cards of your WX door cards you're able to find color options for fabrics now there was three options that were made for these cars there's the non-turbo Impreza's that actually come with the uh, the grayish kind of interior and then there's the WRX that has the uh, the purplish blue honeycombing in here you know obviously we all know what the WRX fabric looks like we're about to replace it and then there's the STI fabric which is the blue Alcantara suede you know they always put like little patches behind the door and uh, actually let me grab the passenger they should have the gray one on this as well this is the other door cards. These are all the door cards I'm getting ready to do. Uh, yeah, see, there you go. Um, there's the gray interior. You know, I give you guys an idea of the period correct ones. Uh, a lot of times you see these in uh, Japanese cars and whatnot, that interior. It's actually pretty rare. But uh, other than that, it gives you guys an idea, a little fun fact, something I've learned over time that. Uh, those were the options, and that's how they did it from Fuji Industries, you know, and Subaru. So, other than that, you can always pull your door cards and say, hey, I want this color, and show them the fabric. They'll know right off, just from the color match on the back, the swatch. Also, um, just so you guys are wondering uh, about fabric and whatnot, there's the color of the blue STI door card that it's going to be. Um, I actually do a lot of door card conversions, so... I have a lot of it. I have about a hundred yards. I believe this started out as when uh, I imported it from Japan. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of STI fabric. I can do headliners. I can do door cards. I do just about anything that uh, you need done. Um, I've even done like center consoles. You can see, sorry, my basement is cluttered right now, but uh, I do like center console rests and whatnot. You know, anything you want done, I can put fabric on it. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, um, I've already gone through the trouble of matching it. Everything matches perfectly, so I know it's on point. And obviously, this is not my first rodeo. I've done many door cards with this fabric. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very nice, high-grade suede. You know, it's extremely soft. Obviously, you can't feel it through the, the screen. But, uh, yeah, she's, she's real Alcantara. Once you actually do get all of these drilled through and whatnot, also, I should suggest and let you guys know as well, um, the process that's going to be going forth is actually, this is the gluing process you can see from the factory. Everything's been folded over, you know, and all your creases are hidden behind the doors. So we're going to be pulling and stretching and uh, gluing as well. So we'll glue the flaps on the back side and then uh, we'll cut away the access just like they did from uh, the OEM, you know, Fuji Industries factory. So when they made these in Japan, we're basically going to just replicate the same process and uh, put this, you know, pad back on there. Uh, this white piece here is what holds your material as far as the soft material, like I said, with the vinyl top and the uh, fabric side. Alright, now it's all separated. Literally just pop it right up and off. Here we'll turn it over and expose the fabric. This is how they do the cutouts here, guys. It's uh, glued straight to the soft vinyl. It's pretty relatively easy. You know, here you're going to want to tuck it. And uh, you can see here, here's the end of the fabric where they actually just cut it. So everything gets cut with a nice straight line. And then you're going to want to tuck this in. I usually use plastic wedges to uh, tuck it in and get the uh, fold that I'm looking to achieve. 
Same thing here as well. Um, a lot of times you can take a squirt bottle and actually soak it with, or not soak it, excuse me, spray it with uh, the water bottle, much kind of like an iron does, you know, when they do the starching and whatnot, and then you can actually hit it with a heat gun and pull it and stretch it, and it's almost the same effect as steaming it. But uh, I tend to just take my time pulling and stretching, and uh, I steam after. So if you don't have a steamer, you can rent them. Um, they're nice to get, wrinkles out and whatnot, but uh, if you take your time, you absolutely can do these door cards no problem. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and move on and knock these out. I'm going to peel this fabric off and move on to addressing the conversion. Simply grab the corner <clears throat> here that's actually exposed underneath, and you're just going to simply peel it right back. You know, until you achieve it to where it's all off. Don't worry about this little bit of glue residue that's actually left over. A lot of that is not going to show, but uh, anything that's largely, you know, if you could feel it, you know, it's definitely going to come through on the texture of the fabric. But I'll show you guys how to remove that. So go ahead and we'll just peel this back now. Okay, so when you get to the edge, you actually want to peel it right to the edge. And at this point, uh, this seam here is actually folded and glued together. So in order to achieve this edge here and have this full tuck into this edge, uh, you basically have to put it back on the same way they did it. Now the way they did it was they started from the back side. So that's how we have to undo it also as well. So here... You can see this is the flap. I was telling you that they actually fold together and it actually glues together. So this actually sits and you can't see it, but this is actually cut from here to here and this sits in that pocket. See, there you go. You can see it really nicely now. So we're just going to pull it out of this pocket. So that's actually what we're going to do to undo it. So you'll just pull this flap off. This flap glue, you know, all the way to this backside, and then slip it out of that crease, out of that cut. Okay, now here's the cut, and you can see the flap that's actually in there. So we're gonna undo the flap, and you can actually see how they did that. So you'll come up to this point here, you'll have your access of flap. This will actually fold together and pinch. And then we're able to take that and pull that back through so that we can tape this, this or excuse me, glue this the same way that they did. So the fabric is absolutely gonna have to be pulled through here in order to achieve the look without the wrinkles that's why the slit is there so right here you can't see it but the slit that is actually cut in that line right there so that's actually where we're going to fold it and pull it through so you can get this wrinkle because all of this section here is actually going to wrinkle when you put your fabric on you'll see it and you'll wonder how to get that wrinkle out that's how you actually have to pull it through there so when undoing this Make sure you pay attention to how you're doing it. You know, this is why I do these videos and give you guys an idea. Um, this is something that I actually thought about not doing. Um, I make a lot of money on door card conversions. And so, basically, long story short, I didn't want to show how I do it. But uh, I kind of just came up to a dilemma. And I made this channel for sheer reason of just getting the knowledge out. So... If I can't really show you guys everything, then what's the point of having the channel? So here we go. I'm going to show you guys again how you know I do things and how I make money and how I can amp up the value of a car by doing something as uh, you know taking the time to do this goes a long way. Somebody opens the doors and they see that there's brand new fabric in here. And guys, 
This does not have to be the STI fabric. You guys can lay any sort of fabric you want on this. That's what's great about this. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go over here and cut me a nice good piece of Alcantara suede, and we're gonna go ahead and start placing some fabric. So, I'm gonna take a little bit of lacquer thinner, put it on a rag, nice little wet spot. You're gonna take it just like this, Lightly rub to all the glue, curls right off to a nice clean surface. This is a very easy process. You don't want to over soak the product and have any issues through that. You just basically want to dry, you know, not dry, but you know, just, just a damp cloth, just enough to, to do the uh, chemical adhesion or excuse me, chemical remover that you need with the, you know, the thinner. And uh, yeah. This is nice and clean now, nice and smooth. Now we can put a nice coat of, of glue right over that. Okay, now that I got it all cleaned, everything's all nice and smooth now. There's no glue texture on it. So now I'm basically just going to go ahead and transfer over this to here. We're going to glue the surface, but before we do hand, anything that I don't want covered in glue, we're going to go ahead and mask off. So we're going to mask this section off here so that we don't get any glue or residue on this. And then we can start with here is where we're gonna begin our fold and our transition of tucking. And that's actually the hardest part is getting the seam down and making the seam look as flawless as possible just for the sheer fact that that's where the cut is and everything else will fold under or be hidden by the door panel. So take your time, do this first because you don't want that to be the last thing you do and then cut a line all the way across. What I normally do is I'll score the fabric all the way nice and tight line across so you don't have these little frillies here. And then uh, I'll start with the tucking and then move on down to, you know, basically getting it mated and finished to the door panel. Once you get that crease, you're going to pull your fabric right up. I'm going to go ahead and put another tack coat in here and I'm going to spray the back side of the fabric also as well. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your razor blade, you're going to lightly cut across this line, you're going to separate the excess fabric and then you're going to peel away your masking tape. Recheck your edge, make sure it didn't peel anything up, but get yourself a nice clean cut all the way across. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles in your in your pattern. You know, if you do, you can go ahead and pull them out. Now is the best time to do it before any of the glue sets up. And now we're going to start pulling and tucking the edge now. And then cut away all of the excess. And there's your finished product. You just want to make sure that you got all of your holes marked. So that you can still go through and reattach this door panel back together. You want to make sure you take your time on your cut. When you're cutting, don't stop and then start again only for the sheer fact that you could do a bad line you want to start with one clean cut insert here off of the side so that you have all of this room because all of this from here over all like this is all covered with the door panel this all lays over this as well so this is all hidden so start your cut here so that when you come cleanly across and you have this panel and this panel it will guide you it's easier than you think so just go ahead and Cut all the way across, you'll feel it break the fabric with the razor blade. And once you realize that you are cutting all the way through, go ahead, nice, even pressure all the way across. Stop here so that you can get your tuck, pull it all the way through the crease. And then that, that's how you get your fold here. And then you can slowly manipulate all of this down to the glued surface as well, all the way around. Real easy, uh, basically as simple as I can put it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe. So here's the last little bit of section right there. Once you attach it back together, you have STI door cards. So uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below, smash that like button, and if you guys have any questions, comment below. I will get back to you. Thanks guys, I'm Bill Schneider, this is Rumble Garage.